Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. So today I just thought I'd show you a nice quick video on this setup that I've come up with for a vacuum filtration. For the last while I've been trying to uh, gravity filter this copper sulfate solution that I'm slowly evaporating down just to get some copper sulfate uh, powder back from when I dissolved some for my copper sulfate crystal that I made in a previous video. Uh, in that time there's been a few like bugs kind of falling into it. Uh, in the bottom there's a little bit of dust and everything so I've been filtering it off but this gravity filtering uh, it's taking a very long time. It's it's not even it's hardly even dripping at all. There's a drip. So what I've come up with is uh, I've got this these two PET bottle lids that I've siliconed together and drilled a little hole in it. So that goes on top of this uh, full PET bottle. I'll screw that on. And then what I've got is this little cup, also made out of a PET bottle. And we'll just screw that onto the top as well. What I've also done is drilled a small hole into uh, the, the bottom bottle, which will act as the, the way that we'll get it to suck the solution through. So what we'll do to set this up is uh, we'll put some uh, toilet paper or something to act as our filter, and we'll just compress that into the bottom here and that'll act as our filter to filter out all the solids that's in our solution and then what we can do is we'll pour this in that's all good and now what we can do to suck the solution through is we can squeeze the bottle and I can't really reach there but then you cover this hole with your finger and what it should do is suck the solution through. I'll get a better camera angle so you can see. So what we'll do first is we'll, we'll squeeze the bottle just like this and then cover this hole that we've made up the top with your thumb and then let go and you should see that there's a lot more copper sulfate solution flowing through the top there. And so we'll keep our thumb over that hole until the bottle down the bottom has filled up with air, Got filled up with as much air as it can get and then you let go squeeze the bottle again cover the hole and then just suck everything else through so I'll keep doing this until we've gone through all of the copper sulfate solution and hopefully it will have filtered out all of the solids so we're nearly done and you can really see the difference you see right now it's just dripping really slowly and then when we actually use uh, the vacuum we can get a much, much faster stream, as you can see. Uh, you can probably see there, all of the solids are being captured by that uh, piece of toilet paper that we put in. And we're getting a nice, clear copper sulfate solution down the bottom here. Another good thing about this kind of uh, vacuum filter is the fact that uh, when you pull all of the, all of the air through, uh, that piece of filter paper that you put in down the bottom there, all of the solution that is, or almost all of the solution that is just held or soaked up by the filter paper will mostly be pulled through as well. So generally not too much of your solution will be lost to just being soaked up by the filter paper there. So now that that's done, we'll put our nice clear solution back into the vessel that I'm... Yeah, yeah. remember about the hole. So now that we have our nice clear solution, we will uh, pour it off back into the vessel that I'm evaporating down. And we'll put this back into the warm water bath that I've got down here with my heavy water generator. And we'll stick that back over there to evaporate down due to the relatively high temperature of the water that it's surrounded by. So while this vacuum filter does work pretty well for kind of that kind of filtration with not many solid particles, what it's really good at is removing 
the solid particles from solutions that have a lot of solid particles like uh, this uh, I've kind of just got some water and mixed some dirt with it and so we've got a kind of really muddy solution uh, so we want to filter this uh, we'll put this back together again and so what we'll do again is we'll stuff a piece of paper just down into the hole in the bottom and hopefully that will absorb all of those solids we use a bit of a bigger piece this time seeing as there are a lot more solids in that but we'll have a go anyway so we'll pour in our kind of mud water and we'll see how well that filters so just like before we squeeze the bottle cover the hole and hopefully that will suck through yep there we are the drops are kind of falling down the side but that's all right it's not particularly clear coming through but it is a lot better than what we had originally and you can tell by the sound that we've reached the the end of all the water that's in the top compartment so we'll just pour some more in and we'll do some more filtering now you can probably tell that the water still isn't particularly clear but what we can do is now that all the large solids are taken out we can do another vacuum filtration and see if we can get it any clearer so I've stuffed the paper a little bit better this time and we'll pour in that solution again suspension I should say and we'll see if we can get any clearer so I've just finished that second filter and you can already tell after just two filtrations that water is a lot clearer than what we started with. It's not ever going to be perfectly clear because uh, we are using toilet paper as our filter. should be using proper filter paper but I don't have any. Uh, but I'll filter this a couple more times and see just how clear we can get it. There it is after three filtrations and after four filtrations. Uh, the volume's gone down because I, uh, I spilt it a couple of times but considering that we started with something like this and then with just four filtrations in less than 15 minutes we've gone to this pretty much clear water uh, something that we wouldn't be able to do with just regular gravity filtration I think this works pretty well catch you next time